Joye, jo, jo, Joye, Joyer. Hello everybody, thank you for watching. Welcome back to my channel. And I've got some products that I picked up from Sephora in their VIB sale, I don't know, a month and a half ago. And I had it sitting here because I wanted to sit down and, and film kind of a first impression. I wanted to play with the products. They were highly recommended by other, well, actual real YouTubers, real YouTubers <laughs> over the last year. And I thought, you know what, now's the time, now's the time to play with them. See what we think about them. So I've already got my face prepped. Uh, I did a little bit of the Georgette Clinger Marula primer. It's very moisturizing. Finding that some of the stuff I've been using lately, I'm I'm getting a little dry and patchy in places. I think it's just it's this time of year. I also have a little bit of the Tarte Timeless Primer on. It's a little bit more of a smoothing, pore filling primer. I just put a little bit in certain strategic places. I did prep my lips with a little of the Elf Jelly Pop uh, Luscious Lip Mask. I like this. That's actually a really good lip mask. And then I also have my Tried and True Drug Cosmetics uh, Clean Canvas Eye Base going on too. And uh, eye products, I did use that eye method um, eyebrow product. And then I also went back into the Liss LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation. This I actually really like. When I first got it, I wasn't sure I was going to love it. And I'm finding that I actually really do. Uh, I think it's a good tone for me. It feels like neutralizes my, my coloring a little bit here. This is in MN5, which I think is medium neutral five. And I think it works. I think it works really well for, for my skin tone. During the winter, I tend to get kind of splotchy looking and I just don't love the <laughs> tone of my skin. That's just why you wear makeup, right? Because you don't love the way it looks without makeup, right? All the stuff I got during the VIB sale, these Joye, I don't know how to pronounce these, Joye, these Joye palettes. I haven't even opened this up yet. These were normally, I think they were normally like, how do you get into this? Normally these were, I think 40 bucks, which kind of had me a little bit shy about getting them. Well, then it then ended up going on sale. I can't get this open here. They ended up going on sale for 20 bucks and they might still be. I don't know if they're discontinued or what, but I picked up two of them. This is the first one. It says, be a legend. I don't know that I need to be a legend. I don't need to be legendary. It's not necessarily a goal of mine is to be legendary, but maybe we'll see. Anyway, because they were 20 bucks, I picked up both of them. So this is the Be Legendary. I thought this was really beautiful. Yeah, I really like these tones. Super, super thrilled. So let's try the other one. It is called Gather and Glow. So Be Legendary and Gather and Glow. And these are the Champagne, champagne and Macarons. Macarons. So many people call it Macarons or Macaroons, but it's, it's Macarons. And this is, the, this is the other one. Much deeper. This might have to be a... A summer palette, huh? Or you could probably wear them as eyeshadows. If you're like a single eyeshadow person or if you have a really light hand. I don't. I tend to over abuse blush and stuff. But these are the two palettes side by side. I think I'm going to have to use Be Legendary, huh? Let me grab a big fluffy brush. I've got this kind of ankle brush. Ang ankled? I've got an ankle brush right now. I'm going to go into the bronzer side. Just kind of do a little bit of sculpting. And I went pretty light handed. Actually, you know what? This seems like it's a really good shade for me. I made, made a mistake with some setting on my camera and now when it turns on it's a little on the dark side so I gotta lighten it up. Apologize for that. That's the part of me that's not a professional YouTuber. I don't, I don't get paid to do this so I'm not an expert. You guys know that. I'm not using anything that I've received in PR. I've received very little PR. In case you've been around here for a while you know. And, and as far as like YouTuber world goes you really do have to have like a minimum of a thousand subscribers and that's like four thousand. Four thousand uh four thousand views and a thousand subscribers. At least it was two years ago when I started this channel. I'm just kind of warming up the periphery, periphery of my face. Give myself some a little bit of contouring here. Get the jowls receded. I can hear my, I don't know if you guys can hear my husband if my camera will pick it up, but my husband's upstairs playing the guitar. He's done a couple different bands uh, over the last little bit and he started a new, a new trio with some friends of his and they're, they're, it's so much fun. So I'll probably at some point in time, I'm starting a new channel for them. So I'll, I'll share with you guys just in case you guys are at all curious and some, some live music. Okay, so we're going to take this, the darker of the blush shades. And I'm gonna start back up here. See, that's actually super pretty. Okay, this is a great palette so far. Very soft, not too, not too shimmery. 
which is nice. It's kind of my, my preference is I don't always love super glowy blush. Sometimes I like it to look a little dewy or moisturized, especially if I'm going to be out in the sun. But for the most part, especially this time of year, I'm pretty much good with less shimmer. Less shimmer and less texture, especially with dry skin. It doesn't always translate very well. Okay, very pretty blush. blush. I like that a lot. I'm going to take the lighter shade and we're going to put this right here more towards the front. Have you guys been layering blushes like this? Because over the last maybe year or so, I've really gotten away from just the one and done when it comes to blush and really, I'm going to go back into the darker shade right here. Yeah, see that, the lighter one I think has a little bit more texture visible to it, um, but I feel like I've been doing a lot more layering and strategic placement. This is, this is a win. This actually might be a good like travel blush because I think it, well, it's a little on the pink side, but I think if I blend the the bronzer and the blush together, I might actually get a good um, a good shade for even if I wear warm makeup, warm toned. You guys know what I mean. Yeah, I like that. Okay, good choice. So that one was the Be A Legend for my current skin tone. I'll come back in the summer and we'll play with the, the other one, the one that's called, this one says Sweet Cheeks, this one says Cheeky Crush, and the Cheeky Crush says Gather and Glow on it. I don't know if it helps when you're shopping. If you're more of a darker complected skin tone you might want to go with the cheeky crush gather and glow there are some youtubers out there that are absolutely obsessed with lawless so i went ahead and picked up a eyeshadow palette the mascara and a trio of lip products all from lawless and the mascara i've actually used a couple times already um you guys might have seen it on a video towards the end of December. I was kind of looking around for <laughs> mascara and realized I had that. So we went and used it and I actually really liked it. I haven't touched it since then. So this is called the one. This is the one palette. And I thought this would make a really nice, just everyday neutral. Let me scoot this in here so you guys can see it. If it'll autofocus. Yeah. So I like the combination on here. That's almost too dark, huh? I like the combination on here because I only have two shimmers and the rest are all mattes. And frankly, some of these read a little cool toned. Uh, and then you've got, you know, a warmer option for different looks and things like that, which I think is key. So I figured let's try this, see what the formula looks like and maybe come up with a look that I would wear. Well, I've got, I've got kind of a, I know it looks dark, but I've got kind of like a burgundy blouse on. So let's do some of these kind of berry colors. I'm going to start with the matte in here called Sable. I'm starting a little lower and then I'm going to just kind of buff it up. Seems to be going on pretty well on that... Gerard Cosmetic Primer. Now, when I look at palettes, normally I'm looking to see if I can get multiple looks from the same palette. And then I look for formula and is the formula gonna work for a lady of a certain age who just doesn't wanna embarrass her family, right? Kind of <laughs> doing the best you can with what you have. So when I have that kind of stuff in mind, I'm looking, can I use it for a work look, like in a, a corporate appropriate job? Can I use it for something kind of fun in daytime? And can I, I usually go a little smoky and a little bolder for, for date night with my husband or hanging out with friends. I'm, I'm the one, I'm the one that wears too much eyeshadow when I'm going out, but, but some of my girlfriends don't wear any makeup at all. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that. Okay. Actually, that's a really pretty shade. I always look, feel better as soon as I start getting some dimension to my eyes. Cause otherwise they seem very small and, and I do have small hoods hooded close set eyes to begin with. I'm going to go in with a darker shade down here. I'm going to keep it to this row, I think, because I think you've got, you pretty much either got, you have this row or you have this row. You've got some things that you can do with squares. Um, and I love the pairing, like that and that paired together is great. Even these two, if you're going all matte are great. Uh, I love having a, a super dark one to kind of smoke things out a little bit, but I'm going to take that darker color called Bohemia and I'm starting down here by my lash line and then I'm just going to kind of wiggle it up, buff it up, ooh, my crease. And while it had just a little bit of kick up and I do have an eye primer on, I'm getting a little tiny bit of patchiness, but it's not horrible. I think if I kept working on it and buffing it, I think that patchiness would turn less. So I think the key for me for as far as like using this for work is I would maybe only do one of the matte shades and then eyeliner, maybe a little bit of eyeliner, or maybe even the, the dark brown or the black in here, just along the lash line, just to kind of as a soft, soft lining, if you know what I mean. And with mascara and, and a mask on, I don't think you need much more than that. I don't think for work you need to go too, too intricate. I just sometimes don't find it appropriate and you don't want people to necessarily be distracted by your makeup when you're trying to get them to think you seriously. Unless you, and now I say that, but if you work in a super creative environment, then by all means be creative. Okay, these are actually super good tones for me. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna take, uh, might as well just stay with the theme here. I'm gonna take this metallic-y shimmery color 
and we're just gonna plop that right on the movable lid. Okay, I can absolutely see using this for uh, for a pretty daytime look, absolutely. The beginning of an evening look, mm-hmm. And it has the right enough creaminess. It doesn't feel like a cream eyeshadow, but it has the right creaminess that makes it wanna go on very smoothly, especially for hooded eyes or especially good for mature eyes that might be a little crepey. Yeah, and even with my fat fingers, I didn't get too much traveling down below, so that's good. That was the shade uh, Caviar. No, that was the shade Angel Rose. Okay, so they have the, the, the names down here, but they don't match up with the names in here. So I'm gonna try this again. The first shade I had was Sable, which is a matte red-brown. No, sorry. We're going back, we have to read this the right way. So the, the the shimmer that I just put on is called Angel Angel Rose, which is a foiled rose pink. The first shade that I used for a transition is called Bohemia, which is a matte warm mauve. And then I used Sable, which is a matte red brown. That's what I used already. I love this eye look. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by, or using a shadow instead of eyeliner, which is a softer look for ladies of a certain age. I'm gonna use the black in here. I've got a short kind of firmer brush. And I'm gonna push this right up against the lash line right here on the outer corner. Extend it just past the lash line because I wanna bring it a straight line from right here on the corner. That's gonna kind of give me a little bit more definition, maybe even a little lift without doing like a full on wing. I like this especially for, for work, especially for daytime because it's less harsh. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. I feel like I got a little bit of fallout right here. Okay, let's go into the Lawless Mascara since we're kind of at that point where we need mascara. And uh, one thing I notice it, is it's very, uh, it's very much a flexible end. Um, the spines on it, the little nubbins for the mascara are very short. They're not super long. So I think this makes a good mascara where you can kind of like wiggle it in to the base and then the base of your lashes. The only con about this is I feel like you get a lot of product on your lashes, which isn't necessarily good if you're prone to, or if you're concerned about clumping. And I think if you do have, you know, hooded lids like I do, you might wanna keep your eyes a little, like your tilt your head back and uh, keep the eyelids down because I've already got it on my eyelids, which we're gonna have to wait for that to dry off a little bit before I flick that off. I do like this mascara. Is it the best mascara in the world? I don't know that it's the best mascara in the world, but I think it's a really good mascara. So I haven't tried a full face of, of Lawless products, um, but I had heard good things about the that eyeshadow palette, and I concur. I think it's a solid, solid eyeshadow palette. I like the small portable size of it. That's gonna be one that I can travel with for work. Uh, while I might not do a shimmer for, for work necessarily, potentially while I'm traveling or definitely in the evening. Something else about this mascara. So sometimes I feel like mascara works best after it's been opened for a few days. I don't know if it kind of dries up a little bit or, or what it is. It just seems like it has, most mascara has like a better consistency for me after it's been open for a few days. And I feel like this one starts off out the gate feeling like that. Like it already feels a little thicker, a little thicker formula, not as fluid. And I don't know if this is dry yet enough. Yeah, seems like it. Yeah, makeup looks pretty darn good. Oh, I got mascara on this side. All right, I feel like it traveled, the mascara traveled under my eyelids just a little bit. This might not be the best mascara for underneath, especially if you have small, small eyes. This might not be my favorite for that. <laughs> Let's take a look at this uh, lip kit here. So this is a clean makeup that doesn't F around. It says, forget the filler, lip plumping, line smoothing, gloss mini trio. Low commitment, buying a gloss trio that comes in three shades. And here I've got rosy outlook, daisy pink, and velvet. This might be a velvet day, huh? I don't know, sometimes when I do a, a little bit uh, smokier of an eye, I like to do paler. You know what, let's swatch these. Let's just swatch these in the back of my hand here. I say that they're a filler. So this is the bright pink one, and it is a clear gloss with a little bit of a pink sheen. N not much of anything. So I'm guessing these are more lip plumping. So that was Daisy Pink. Let's look at Rosy Outlook. It comes across again as just a clear gloss with nothing, not even a barely discernible. And then this is the darkest one, which is called Velvet. It is a little darker. Okay, we're not getting a ton of pigment on these glosses, but they're supposed to be a lip filling gloss. I have an Essence lip, sh uh, lip liner here in the, in the shade Big Proposal. So, oh, and I need to, uh, I need to sharpen it. Don't let's just try this here. Kind of have to hold it at a weird angle because it needs to be sharpened, right? Hard to talk and line at the same time. Fill in a little bit here. Yeah, I like that shade a lot. We're gonna use the, wait, hold on. Yeah, this is Velvet, which I think is the darker of them. Let's just see if they are in fact lip plumping or line smoothing. Smells a little bit like strawberry. 
That's kind of a fun combination. I like that a lot. So we'll have to see if these actually do end up being kind of lip plumping at all. Too early to tell. Oh wait, do I have a little tingle? I have a little tingly feeling. I like that. Let's put a little powder on. I've got a Fenty powder right here. We're just going to throw a little powder on the face and we are powdered. All right, you guys, this, um, the eyeshadow palette from Lawless, the one, absolutely love that. Big win for me. This actually, this feels perfectly work appropriate. I really like that. This is going to be a good one for work. So I'm super happy about that. The mascara, I'm going to have to figure out the right angle to apply it because it is such a thick formula. It's a great formula. Don't get me wrong. I actually really like it. Um, the one and done long wear volumizing mascara. Yeah, I feel like my, my lashes are volumized. I don't know. We'll have to see how this wears for like a day long because I haven't done a wear test on it yet. So yes, yes, the Be Legend or Be a Legend or Be Legendary. Is that what Be Legendary? No, Be a Legend. The Be a Legend, um, uh, Champagne Macron Joye, 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 Joye. That's sorry, French. <laughs> <laughs> no enough to get myself in trouble and that's about it. Uh, so these products I'm very pleased with. Yeah, this is a good makeup day. So I hope this was somewhat uh, somewhat helpful informational trying some new products. Some of it was viral and, and people, you know, raved about it, uh, especially these two things. I think we've gotten, well, actually all three, all three of these products, I think people have, have been super enthusiastic about. I did pick up this Fenty blush. Should we try it? I don't know. I haven't put setting spray on yet, but maybe, huh? So this blush is uh, Cheeks Out. It's a Cheeks Out freestyle blush, but it's a, it's a purple color. So the shade is called Drama Class. Okay, so this is a, one of those viral things that everybody said you have to get, and I was like, it's, it's purple. But let's take a look here. Oh, okay, that actually might be pretty. <sighs> I, I'm gonna have to try this blush. I didn't put it on today because I was liking this other stuff so much. Mm, no, I'm not gonna put it on. I'm not gonna put it on right now. I need to come back and use this. If you guys have tried this, let me know. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna film some other stuff and this might be something that you'll see in another video here really soon. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are not already subscribed, please just take a quick second, hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. I'm, I'm on a quest. So I would love it if you guys just, even if you don't watch the videos, just hit the subscribe button. If you made it this far. Do me a favor. All right, you guys. I hope you guys are doing really well. And until my next video, bye for now.